So I'm backing out of our garage right now. Good morning, by the way. Um, I don't know how you woke up this morning, but Margie and I woke up to a child asking for help, only to discover that, well, let's just say that there were feces in a lot of places around the house that shouldn't be around the house, and it was a complete accident, and my alarm didn't go off, so kids woke up late to get ready for school, and we all ended up scrambling around. It's been an interesting morning, very stressful. Um, Margie has been doing awesome, running every day, but she opted not to today just to kind of chill and let her nerves calm. And I'm gonna go out running, and we hopefully got a lot of cool stuff going on today. We're hopefully going to be meeting with a friend. She has a sensory room for her kids, and we're gonna be doing working with her to put sensory videos up on our YouTube channel so that other parents uh, have sensory activities to do with their kids to help them out. So I'm gonna get downtown, I'm gonna go for a run. my run out here on volunteer landing it was good I needed that I just needed some time to unravel my nerves from fast-paced stressful morning and it just got me wondering while I was running do, do you guys have anything where what, what was your worst morning what had you frazzled and then what did you do to take care of yourself after a stressful morning leave your comment below we want to know I'm at a stoplight by the way and I could be wrong but the E light blinking and telling me what most about it. So I just made it back home to see the status of the day. And one thing that Margie has thought to do is going through one of our kiddos' uh, rooms. And this kiddo has a hard time taking care of their stuff, um, but doesn't want to get rid of anything. Um, just some part of that, I think, past stuff, just worried about losing stuff, um, being moved from home to home, all that jazz. But had too many clothes. So She's gone through and seen what's too small, what just makes her, makes the kid look like a little homeless person uh, because it has stains on it or holes on it, and has gotten a pretty good pile of stuff that we need to uh, give away to either like a Salvation Army or uh, some sort of uh, donation closet or we just need to get rid of. Um, and it's actually working best for the kiddo. I know a lot of people are like, don't get rid of stuff. It, it'll like turn the kid into like turmoil and everything. But it's actually setting this kid up for success because they had too much stuff for them to be able to take care of. So then that's stressful for us because their room's in chaos. They can't get to anything. They can't function in their room. And it just helps them to be able to function better. And it sets them up for success because they're given the amount of clothes in their closet now that they can take care of and they can be proud of themselves. They can be excited about what they're wearing their things look nice. Um, and again, they're, they're, they're learning to take care of themselves and becoming independent. So, so anyways, just spending a little bit of time this morning working on that. Um, as far as visiting our friend with the sensory room, uh, it's evidently been a day for uh, foster and adoptive parents because they've also had um, an interesting day and we are having to reschedule. So we are just going to be uh, doing our normal transfiguring adoption day and getting things ready for around the house. So today, because we were getting rid of stuff to help one kiddo to be able to take care of his room, it has now turned into purge day. Describe purge day, Margie. Um, everybody's purging. Grandma's purging, mom's purging, dad's purging, kids are purging. We're purging a whole bedroom set to make more room. So we're getting rid of all this stuff in our house because one cool thing that we didn't share with everyone, which I don't know if it's any of your beeswax, but is we were able to refinance on our house. Supposedly. Supposedly. It's in the works. 
but that means that they have to appraise, appraise the, house. the house. So we're trying to get everything a little bit more tidy looking, and we've just, I guess we've just, you're just dealing with stuff from day to day, and you just forget to get rid of stuff, right? Or whatever, so we're actually taking some time for today and just like purging and getting rid of stuff that we don't need, and um, yeah, a whole bedroom set, because it's an old kid's set that our kids don't use anymore. And it's kind of falling apart-ish. Not bad. Not bad, it's just not pristine. So, and where are you- We don't need it. We don't need it at all. So what are you doing? I'm going to Lowe's to use a gift card, try and get some shelves to <laughs> put stuff that was in the bedroom set onto the shelves. Here she goes, yay! Yeah. Well, there she goes, out to the wild blue yonder. And here's some of the purging things that we're purging. We're gonna put those out in the garage and someone already vouched for them and is gonna take them, so we're excited to get them out of our lives. So, how was Purgageddon? It was great. It was great. And now we're stopping because we are hungry. <laughs> and the kids are home and we have a feeling, you know, what is that they say is you feed a kid once and they're gonna want Again. Eat again, like three square meals a day. So we're going to fix homemade pizza, pizza. pepperoni, gluten-free gluten yumminess. Except I'm being sent on an errand to pick up shelves from the Walmart. So tag team, tag, I'll go do Walmart, you do pizza. And I don't know what you're doing tonight, but I'm lucky because my wife is making pizza, homemade pizza, grease in the pan with olive oil, and we've got marinara spaghetti pizza sauce ready to go, and then we've got mushrooms over here, and we got pepperoni somewhere. Oh, there's pepperonis. We're gonna have pepperoni pizza. How many are we gonna have? Two pepperoni pizzas, we're gonna have pepperoni pizza! And we have shelves that can be put together at a later time, but I have a feeling that if I know my wife, you're gonna put them together tonight, aren't you? Movie night debacle. What you doing? Watching Angry Birds. Are you having fun? Yeah. What kind of fun are you having? Friday fun. Yeah? Is there anything I could do that would really embarrass you right now? Like, what if I went, like, took a shot like that and I could see up your nose? Would that embarrass you? No. Like a nose shot? Being able like to right invite there. Maddox to the thing would embarrass me. Ah, who's Maddox? For everyone watching. A guy at school. Why would inviting Maddox to our house be embarrassing? Because I used to like him. And maybe still do. I don't still like him! So I've just been informed that I have to pierce the pizza with a fork. And I've never done this before, so I'm, right now I'm stabbing the pizza and I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. Does it look right? Sure. It's very holy. It's a holy pizza. Holy pizza, Batman! So Margie's making delicious pizza, but we have to talk here. We have to have a little meeting. So she's doing this little dance number. She's being all cute. She's like, look at me, I'm being cute. And funny. Don't funny. And funny. Yes, funny. We'll, we'll, and then all of a sudden I'm like, turn the camera on. I'm like, hey, do it for the video. And she was like. No, I'm making dinner. It looks delicious. Oh, look at how golden crisp that is. Yummy, 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 yummy. And then these are really good turkey pepperoni. Very good. And then we're going to do one pizza with lactose free, lac, lactose free, lactose free go veggie cheese. And then one with regular Mexican style. So, yay! I just noticed there are brownies waiting! Yay! I was so excited about having pizza because we haven't had it for so long that I forgot to show you how it turned out. So, there's like a couple of pieces that no one's eaten yet, except it's not the gluten and dairy free one, which, how does your gluten and dairy free pizza taste? Would you eat it again? There's 
how the other one turned out with the, it's a gluten-free crust, but it's got actual dairy cheese on it. So, and Jasmine, how does it taste? Thumb up! Dalton, do you like pizza? Yeah? Looks like you're doing okay on it. Are you gonna have a second piece? Maybe not. Would you eat a second piece if there was more? It's those times when you come into the office and you see this thing growing out of your wife's head. <laughs> Comment below if you know what this actually is that's on her head. And the funny part is, is she uses it and then she just stops. It forgets that it's there. And it forgets it's there and just <laughs> forgets it's there. You really it's just, can't forget that it's there. But you just leave it there. Like you could be in here working on the computer for half an hour and you come in and that thing is on your head. I, I use it intermittently while it's sitting there. Does it like help you think or does it like you look at stressful things on the computer and it helps you to calm down? It just helps my life. So usually Friday night we have family movie night and um, Jasmine and I are the only ones that have showed up. Like everyone else, Dalton's outside playing with friends. I don't know how he got was able to do that. And Matthew's upstairs playing with his iPad and our grandma's upstairs sorting through some of her stuff and mommy's working at the computer. So Jasmine and I are the only ones that are gonna sit here and watch Goonies because Goonies rock. I'm soft. <laughs> Way to go to the goondocks. Yeah! Goonies never die. Remember that. Okay, so I'm sitting here on the couch with Jasmine, and I look down at her feet. She has them propped up. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a pumpkin and little ghosts on her toes. Is that not cool? She's got like, well, that one looks like, this one looks like it blew up. Like on Pac-Man, like it got eaten. Someone ate your toe. And then the ghosts are all on there, and then there's a jack-o'-lantern right there. How did you do a jack-o'-lantern on your toe, like, with it being so far away? It's pretty cool. So as we're waiting for our movie to start up, I just started thinking. So, we know what happened to Sean Aston. A Sean Ash. I can't say his name. We know what happened to him because he's been in other films, like, he's been in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and stuff like that. But we don't know what has happened to some of the other kids from Goonies. Like, the kid that plays Chunk. What happened to him? Like, what's he doing? He's a big what, bully. Like, what if he, like, became, like, a scientist? Like, he went from an actor to a scientist. Or, or maybe he, like, owns, like, I don't know. Like, a bunch of 7-Elevens somewhere. I don't know. So I just got a text message while I was watching Goonies with Jasmine, and it was asking for hammers, a hammer, and screwdrivers to put together shelves. And then I look, and do you guys like the new, if you have an iPhone, do you like the new iOS thing? They've added some things to the text messaging. Anyways, this girl decides, what, what? She decides she's going to be all cutesy with me, and because she requested, I said, what if I was at, whoa, I thought you were gonna hit me in the head with it. What if I, she sends me a touch message, I think is what they're calling it now. And so I look, and it was, one was like, lips kissing me, like, and that was cute, and it was like, aw, she's, I get a hammer and screwdriver, I get a kiss, which I never got the kiss, by the way. And then I look at the second one, and it's a fireball. So I'm like, okay, so, you're giving me a kiss and you're incinerating me. <laughs> it's like, what the deal? So, what are you doing, hun? Yeah. <laughs> I like to think that I'm right where I should be. Oh. And, but that's it. Margie couldn't hold off putting together shelves. I'm gonna go do our Friday movie night with Jasmine and Grandma, and I think Dalton's gonna join us now. Um, but other than that, we're gonna end the day. Margie's going to run out of steam eventually, and we'll have to get to bed. But we hope that you're having fun watching this. Check out some of our other videos, even though we couldn't get to the sensory room today. 
Uh, I think we got two book reviews up for uh, books for grown-ups that will help you to nurture and grow your foster adoptive family, but we have plenty of other videos on our YouTube channel and lots of resources on our webpage that'll help you to nurture and grow your foster or adoptive family.